What's up, BG Squad? It's your girl Misha, and I am back once again with another video. Yep. So, today, guys, is going to be a talk video. <clears throat> Basically, just talking about how I feel about my high school year. Because <clears throat> I graduated in May, finally. So, I'm just going to tell y'all how it was for me. And basically, the kids is going to be in high school next year. I'm going to let y'all know, like, what to do and what not to do. Because, honestly, it's really not a joke, for real. So, starting back to my freshman year when I first went to high school. I started off high school in a rough patch because you know how you're in middle school and you get treated, you get treated better. Like, it's easier for you to get work turned in and stuff because everything is so easy. The teachers help you more. You get this, you get that. But when I got to high school, I was taking it as a joke. What I know I shouldn't have. Um, I mean, one thing about me is I learned slow. When you come to high school, it's like the teachers teach a little bit faster. So you just got to be able to just catch on quick. Just you got to pay attention good because like, They'll say something you and like you just miss it within a second. Like you gotta listen to every little detail they say because you for you will miss something that quick. Like I almost like I was like failing my freshman year. And then going into my sophomore year, I did good. I passed most of my classes, but the two classes that I failed my sophomore year was algebra and um algebra one. And I failed my English that year. The reason I failed my English that year was because me, that class, like, one thing about me is I get bored quick. I get tired quick. So it's like, if a teacher not teaching a certain way, it's like I don't understand. So when I don't understand, I just don't pay attention because I don't understand what they're teaching. Like, for example, myself, my freshman, junior, and senior year, I had A's in English and no lower than a D. I have never went lower than a D or a C. I always had an A or a B in those three years. Just my sophomore year, the teacher I had, the way he taught was different, which is a way that I didn't understand. So it was like, I don't really understand what is going on in this class. So I have failed because of that. And um, this year, my senior year, I've had a B or an A. The whole year I haven't went lower than that. Last year, my junior year, I had an A all year. I passed with an A because the teacher I had was the bomb. Like, the teacher I had last year, he made sure we understood everything before we even started working by ourselves. And even when we worked by ourselves, but we still had a question here coming here to help us explain it to us all over again. Make sure we understand. And I always, I always had an A in his class. Like, it was easy. My freshman year, the teacher we had, she was one of them, them teachers who was hard on you. She not she not letting nobody just fail her class. Like she'll tell you, y'all all making it up them stairs. Like nobody was failing my class. Like she used to tell us that all the time, and that was motivation. So it makes you want to go hard class, and you it makes you want to learn. Because just think about it. Just imagine your freshman year, you just failed English, and you just like. So. Sorry about that, guys. I kind of ran out of storage. I had to go delete some stuff. I don't know how long this is going to last. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can out. But um, as I was saying, so my senior year is actually kind of struggling for me because they have state tests. The state tests is what basically they were trying to say if you graduate or if you don't. Like, if you got all your credits that you did, like you, you get did good in all your classes, you passed all of them, but you just failed this test, that can stop you from graduating. But they just told us that they have um, senior pathways, basically, like it's say, for example, if you got a 90%, 93% uh, good attendance or something, or we got to do these catalog thingies, or uh, we had to go work key says if you score threes on all of them, you can graduate, but you got to have two of the requirements for you to pass two of them. I don't know where the paper is at, but um, that's basically better because a lot of people was, really wasn't going to graduate. And I feel like I was scared that I really wasn't. So I'm just glad that they came up with this stuff because, like, without it, I kind of would have been struggling. I felt, for me feeling, for me feeling um, algebra, I had to take it over. 
so this year and my senior year I take two algebra classes and then also I felt English so they had me taking English online it's like a like a get you a lay English class but here's the papers right here basically saying like all the requirements and saying like um telling us what it we gotta re like at least meet two of the requirements so that's the scary part but I already I'm already good with the work keys I think because I had threes on all of them but the one that I had a three on, they said I had less than a three. So I'm guessing that I got to retake that one. But I could just work hard and I could pass that one. My attendance is also good. And it said earning a GPA of 2.5 on a 4.0 scale. I'm going to try that one too. It's not hard. And basically said if we did, if we worked 120 hours, um, like, say, if I get a job and I work 120 hours, I just let them know that I worked 120 hours, and I can also work for that. So, I'm about to get a job and try to do that, too. So, I'm going to try to at least meet four of the requirements. I'm going to try my best so I know for sure, like, yeah, you're going to graduate. Because, I mean, and we retook the state test in December, so hopefully I went up on some of them. Because the English, I actually did really good, and I actually did my essays and stuff really good. So, hopefully that flow is better. But what I'm just the point that I'm really trying to get across is when you get to high school, work your hardest because you don't want to like bullcrap your first three years and your senior year. You got all this stuff to make up because it's kind of hard for me. Like most people have like two or three main classes, then they have all electives. Like oh, I got gym, I got art, I got this, I got that, but they don't really have main classes like I do. I got two algebra classes, an English class, a physiology class. Um, I got. And I basically, and I got a business class and stuff, but that, I got a lot of main classes because I didn't do good with them in the past. So, work your hardest when you come to high school. Like, don't give up either because giving up ain't the right thing to do. Me, I got so much going on. I got to take online English. I got all this other stuff to do. So, just don't be like me when y'all get to high school. Like, focus and actually, like, do y'all stuff. Like, I did my stuff, but I didn't do it good enough like <clears throat> i know me i can do anything i want personally so i know if i pay attention more then things would be better for me i could have been good i could have had all my stuff together but like the state test is really hard to me like that's the thing that really was messing me up so my next video is going to be me i'm going to do a video i'm going to do a social experiment in school I'm going to ask a few seniors around my school how they feel about their senior year or their, their whole high school year period. And I'm going to let them tell y'all how they feel and how easy it was for them or how hard it was for them. So y'all can see how people feel from different perspectives on their senior or their high school year. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that video. This video was kind of short. It was just me telling y'all how I felt about mine. So basically, I feel personally, if I would try it off easier. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? try harder it would have been easier that's what I'm gonna say so try your hardest like don't give up either because high school is really what like your diploma is really the um was basically gonna help you get in certain jobs or you get certain careers me personally I'm gonna be a cosmetologist I mean I need a lot like I need to know math I need to know all this stuff because with cosmetology it's money you gotta know how to do your stuff so yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So stay tuned for the next video to see how certain how seniors in my school feel about their high school year. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one though. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe to my um channel. Also make sure y'all hit that bell. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can be notified when I post the videos more. And also follow me on all my social medias. It's going to be in the description box down below. So make sure y'all go check them out. And then y'all can also DM me, inbox me, Snapchat me, all that. What other videos y'all want to see. I'm going to start doing hair tutorials because I'm supposed to do hair in like an hour or two. So I'm thinking about recording that. Um, it just depends. So yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all. Peace out. Has brought, I feel like I already am. My mind's telling me one thing, but.